Well, first, it's a celebration. You know, this game is about winning and learning. And we, we learned so many lessons. We won so many uh, fights that no one will ever know. We, we, we've conquered so much as a team and as a family. I'm just so smitten <laughs> by my staff when I had to step away for health reasons. And my staff got behind Coach KC and, and just never, we never missed a beat. It almost was hard to fit back in uh, because they had it so ironclad. And I am so grateful for my boss, John Wildhack, for giving me the opportunity to be uh, the head coach of the best school in the entire country. I am so grateful for these two right here deciding that it was better to be with me than anywhere else in the country to follow me here to Syracuse and to leave it on the stage like they did time after time, day after day, game after game. I'm a blessed woman. And that we said to you yesterday about that song that me and Paige share. I thank them for it all. Good, bad, ugly, great, and small. Chris Carlson, Syracuse Post Standard. As this year sort of come to a close, you've talked about this is a moment you, you never really wanted to think about the young lady next to you. Um, did you have a private moment with her at all? And, and did you pass along a message sort of after the game to, to her? Yeah, she, I just told her that there's a period for everything in this world. And there's a beginning. And this is the period. This, is, this ends it right here. But the beautiful thing is that um, she begins again. And it won't be easy because when you see how, how hard she worked, you just want to keep protecting her from it all, you know? You want to let people see as a big woman I am and how aggressive I speak. I can protect her. And now she's getting ready to go out there as this little young lady who people don't really notice. I don't give her a fair chance. And I know she's ready, but it won't be easy for either one of us. Thank you guys for all you do for women's basketball. Thank you. Appreciate your time.